there is a feeling of such community and connection that even when it's vacant, you can still hear kids talking. You can hear the excitement in their voices. You can hear the dedication of the faculty members forever. And it'll take about 45 minutes for the DNA fragments to separate from one another. Franklin College really is a family. It's the people that make this institution great. And there is a great deal of bonding between the students, the faculty, the staff, the administrators, the trustees, the alumni. I like to think that Franklin College is a, a rare and precious gem, preserved and polished and passed on from generation to generation because of its magical ability to make for human betterment. For over 160 years, uh, Franklin College has been producing some exceptional people who have made a difference in the world. I think one reason for this is its uh, roots as a church-related institution. The values that mattered to people in the pioneering days can still be found here today. Hard work, honesty, integrity, faith taking care of your neighbor, helping others. All of those values I still see in this institution and its graduates. I would say that one of the core values at Franklin is the, the caring of each other, the respect for each other and that resulted in very close friendships that I have to this day. You really feel like a part of a family here. It's given me a, a sense of who I am, responsibility, professional development, uh, a lot of fun. I think it certainly is a, a community of shared values, uh, beginning with the uh, focus on, on students. Uh, I think the curriculum reflects that, the academics that we have, and rounding a student with liberal arts education. But leadership, education, and development right now is the golden thread that runs throughout the entire college, all across the curriculum and the campus and its extracurricular activities. <laughs> They let you become leaders, they let you um, fail sometimes and then they pick you back up and they teach you how to succeed and I think that that's what it's all about. I think that the education that Franklin College offers to uh, these young adults uh, very much prepares them uh, for the world and uh, I know it prepared me uh, in, in a big, big way. I have to start today by saying welcome aboard. <laughs> One of the things I really like about Franklin College is the uh, professional development program. They'll teach you kind of um, job skills for what you're going to need when you actually get out in the workforce. But what it does is it really prepares you so that I know that when I graduate, I'm going to be ready to be a leader out there. Internships are very important here. Approximately 90% of our students do an internship during their four years at Franklin College. A number of the Ad PR students actually got to go to the Indy 500 this year and represent one of the racing teams. This internship basically gives us the responsibilities of taking care of Donnie. We make sure his interviews are set up on time. We make sure that we get his name and Cahill's racing team name and also the sponsors out to as many media outlets as possible. Well, I talked to USA Today reporter um, a couple days ago and he seemed pretty interested that he was working on a couple stories. From this experience, we're going to walk away with how to do PR in the real world. We've talked in class, we've done PR at school, but this is a real situation, and from now on we'll be better prepared for that. Franklin College is not only one of the oldest colleges in the state, 
but it's faced now with a new century. Monies are needed to do things that the college has not been able to do in the last 170 years. I think early on we determined that for the college to maintain the momentum that is established in the past, that we had to bring in new ideas, new ways of challenging students. And to do that, we had to have the resources. Franklin College is engaged in the largest campaign in its history. Our goal is to raise $40 million by the year 2002. Our campaign slogan is investing in leaders for life. Each of those words is important. Anyone who gives to this campaign is in fact investing in our current students, our current faculty, our current physical facilities, and those investments will pay off many times over in the years to come. This campaign is about uh, equipping Franklin College to even better outfit our students for a lifelong journey of excellence, leadership, and service. So it's about tools, tools to do the job. Now once D is finished, we're ready to pick up the next one. Students will benefit from the campaign in a variety of ways. First of all, we will be making investments in, in technologies and teaching environments that will enable them to be active and collaborative learners. Uh, in addition, we're going to be making investments in the quality of the student experience, in particular targeting the first year because we know that the success of students in the first year is the most important variable in determining successful graduation from college. A devastating thing happened in Jerusalem between 66 and 70 AD that I've listed there. The tradition of Franklin College has been to make education available to many students who might not otherwise be able to afford uh, this type of education. Franklin being a liberal arts school is, is a lot more expensive than an in-state school so without the financial assistance that I got through scholarships, there, there is no way that I would have been able to attend this college. This was the only school um, that offered me an, enough of financial support. Franklin College has been the biggest blessing in my life. Endowed scholarships will ensure that uh, no deserving student is denied a Franklin College education uh, because of a lack of uh, money. Put plasma A in one well, plasma B in another well, plasma C in the third well. One of the things that we're prioritizing in the campaign is raising funds to invest in our faculty. We will do that by creating more endowed professorships and by investing in funds for faculty development. There are two reasons why we must continuously update the campus as a whole and then its component parts, its, its physical facilities. One is that uh, all of the facilities and indeed the campus itself uh, as a whole are directly tied to the educational mission of the school. The second reason, though, is that the campus itself is a display window to the world. This is an exciting time for the students of Franklin College as we highlight the students of fine arts who will soon find their hard work and efforts rewarded in the construction of a new creative learning and applied arts center scheduled to be open the fall of 2001. <laughs> All students need to be well-rounded, and that means not only the academics, but art, and music, drama, the things that make our lives meaningful. Arts are food for the soul, and arts provide uh, resources for the rest of your life. The Capital Campaign will provide our students the best of both worlds. On the one hand, a close, intimate, personal campus environment. On the other hand, access to the entire world of scholarship and learning. Successful completion of this campaign will allow Franklin to move to the next level of educational excellence. We will have a stronger student body, a stronger faculty, 
a more attractive and functional campus. Our technology will be up to date and we will be able to compete with the best liberal arts colleges in the country. Some speak of the uh, responsibility of uh, one generation to another. I tend to think of it uh, more as a uh, grand opportunity, um, a challenge to give as you have received. The college means so much to me that uh, in a small way I wanted to give the, the minute I left here. The first time giver to the college will someday hear something about a Franklin College graduate who has done something good and they will say, I caused that. I created that opportunity. I established this scholarship in honor of my father, Thomas R. Kelly, who is a Franklin graduate. He graduated in 1925. He was a history major. I've been happy today to be able to meet Myrna. She's here on campus today to present Sean with the scholarship. To know that she uh, created this scholarship in the name of her father is a uh, to honor. It, it was nice to see that he had daughters that thought enough of him to, uh, to make sure that there was, his name lived on in this scholarship. What better way to remember my dad than with a, a scholarship in his name at the college he loved in a subject he loved. And I cannot begin to tell you how happy it has made me to come here last year and this year and meet these young recipients of this award. It is the most satisfying thing that I, I really think that I've ever done. Sometimes people say, I don't have much to give. We always say, please give what you can, because it's not just the dollars, but the number of people who give who make a difference. Anyone who invests in Franklin College becomes a part of the lives of the students here, and and in turn the lives of the lives that they touch. Franklin College has contributed so much over the years and one reason is because that the people who are associated with it realize that they're building for the future and each generation has been able to pass on a stronger college to the next generation. The return on investment in this campaign will be that we will ensure the future not only for ourselves and our children, but for our grandchildren to provide excellence in education for those who come after us. I think a place like Franklin fosters the kind of relationships that allow people to know each other and to care about each other and to wish each other well which is what happens at graduation, I think. You wish each other well. When you see the students after graduation, um, you want to smile and laugh with them, but you want to cry because you think how hard they've worked to be where they got because you don't get this for nothing. Commencement isn't the end of things. Commencement is the beginning. And so they're beginning and they're moving off into whatever life's call happens to be for them. And we have a lot of just excellent students and great human beings. I watch those young uh, uh, graduates walk across the stage to receive their diplomas and I think what a gift they have received. Already uh, they have that uh, richness of mind and that strength of character and that health of body and spirit that will be so necessary for their work in the future. Already they have uh, had that fire that says to them, go out, lead, and serve. As they get older, they come back and they say, what a wonderful gift I have received.
Hello, I'm Robert Wise. You might know me as the director of West Side Story, The Sound of Music, or my most recent Showtime production, A Storm in Summer. But I'm delighted to be speaking to you now as an alumnus of Franklin College, where something special is happening. Our college is adding a new and exciting jewel to its crown, one that is particularly interesting to me, a creative learning and fine arts center which will include a wing dedicated to leadership, education, and development. Now, some might ask what a leadership center is doing connected to a creative learning and fine arts building. Well, throughout history, all great leaders have been characterized by their ability to think creatively. And the combination of leadership and creativity is a perfect union that Franklin College has dared to make happen. So with that in mind, I ask you to join me in a visual tour of what is to come for our college. From the first moment you enter this building, you know you're in a special place. The Leadership Center is equipped with the latest technology to facilitate the small group discussions crucial to the training of corporate and community leaders and to facilitate student seminars in service learning, nonprofit management, and the skills necessary for leadership in a multicultural world. Each of the first floor conference rooms is also accessible to an outdoor breakout patio space, providing another area for small group work and discussions. Upstairs, the second floor of the Leadership Center is an expansive space equipped with state-of-the-art technology. It's designed to host leadership conferences and classes, community gatherings, student congress meetings, trustee activities, and many other campus and community events. As exciting as the Leadership Center is, let's not forget the rest of the building. The new painting and drawing studio is designed to enhance the work already being done by our faculty and students. This studio, like all of the places in the new building, serves more than one purpose. Here, the theater professors also have a lab to teach the properties of stage lighting and computer-aided design. This terrace adjoining the studio invites work outside in natural light. Each floor of the center has gathering areas equipped with data ports so students or faculty can plug in a computer to check email, relax, or have a snack. In the center's classrooms, the best of information technology will make possible the active and collaborative teaching that comprises today's and tomorrow's innovative learning. The first floor of the new facility will feature two permanently tiered multi-use rooms. One room is designed primarily for music training and rehearsal, for the pep band, the madrigal group, and for the Franklin Choral and Instrumental Ensembles. The other room has permanently fixed tables and chairs with directional lighting and all the technology necessary to provide distance learning opportunities as well as slide, film, and PowerPoint presentations. The Rotunda forms the hub of our Creative Learning and Fine Arts Center. It's from here that we enter the lobby and gallery as we make our way to the box office and into the Black Box Theater. A black box theater may imply a squarish room painted black, but as you'll see, this theater is much, much more. Its potential is limited only by the imagination. Our theater is modeled after the finest black box theaters in the country. Its inherent flexibility allows the creative mind to explore possibilities and express ideas. For every director, every designer, every actor, these are the things of which dreams are made. The Creative Learning and Fine Arts Center is a jewel in the Franklin College crown. Now, here is the sparkle. A lobby for the theater, a gallery for the student and traveling exhibits, a reception and gathering area. Just think what this soaring, glittering space can do. And it's beauty with brains. Each column has data ports for connecting to the wide world beyond our campus. Through each glass panel and skylight, the outdoors comes indoors, beckoning us out onto the plaza with its benches and steps for sitting, its artwork, and its connection to Dame Mall, the heart of Franklin College. Attractive, accommodating, accessible, and innovative. 
the Creative Learning and Fine Arts Center will bring a wide variety of people together for learning and entertainment and will immeasurably strengthen the ability of Franklin College to serve students and society. Now that you've seen a glimpse of this magnificent new addition to the Franklin College campus, I hope you'll lend your support to help make it become a reality. The Creative Learning and the Fine Arts Center truly will be a source of pride for you and me and for all members of the Franklin family. Thank you.